Hey guys, before we begin, I just wanted to let you all know and remind you that on June 10th at 11 a.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash Asmongold, my main channel, we are going to be doing the OTK Games Expo. And so again, that's going to be on June 10th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So we hope to see you all there and uh, hope you enjoy the show. Yo, what up, boys? Welcome to another episode of Steak and Eggs. And as always, you're joined by myself, Asmongold, as well as my two uh, co-hosts, Imaru. And Tectone. How you guys doing? Hello. Bro, is he he's playing? He's literally playing Honkai Street. Uh, I was about to overcap on the energy. Yeah, you can't have <laughs> yeah. that, bro. If you overcap, it's like you're wasting money. Yeah. You're Actually throwing away addicted. money. No, it's bad. Yeah. It's super bad. The but. worst part is like I heard like that little like that it's almost like a sword sheath yep. thing at the at the beginning. And I'm like, uh, I know what you're doing. It's a beautiful soundtrack. Yep. I love it. It's a I mean like, well, you watched the whole new, uh, the whole new thing, right? The, Update. The 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah. Wow. I was blown away. Wow. Because it's, it's been a super weird scenario for me. Speaking of super weird and the complete opposition, I just want to say real quick, do these steak and egg things are awesome. Yeah. Before I get into the, uh, the live stream. Yeah. We got these little keychains here. They're on the Patreon. Yeah. Apparently you get them if you subscribe to our Patreon and they're super cute. Very cool. They're metal and not plastic. Imagine that. Huge. Yeah. yeah. They're nice. Uh, just wanted to say that before I forgot because these things are fucking sick. Uh, but yeah, I watched the live stream and I've had a very different experience with Honkai than I had with Genshin because like when I played Genshin, I was like the you dickhead. Hated it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was the dick. We know. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Wait, but so you're a changed man now? It's just a, it's just a good game, you know? What, what did they announce? Okay, so I was expecting nothing, right? I just wanted two events and some new characters and then a main story quest. That's all I was really asking for. Um, and then instead of that, they announced three new characters, which are Luca. Luca. No, that's that's one point two. Uh, they sorry, Yukong, Yukong. Yukong is the fox girl. That's not the one that's in the game now. Yeah, it's like the teal one. Yeah, teal one. Is she from the other Honkai too? No. Nah. Okay, I was about to say. Yeah, know. they got Yukong, and then they got Locha. Yeah. Which, by the way, holy shit, Power Crept. Dude, like, oh shit. He's insane. <laughs> and not broken. to mention, I'm going to do a prediction here. Okay. Are you cool if I give you a prediction on what I think Loach is going to be about? Because I think he's going to be the greatest character in Honkai. Uh, lore, lore wise. Oh, lore wise? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So let me tell you why. So there's this, there's this dude, and pardon my Honkai Impact third knowledge. I, I know as much as my Twitch chat has told me and how much I've watched, but there's this dude called Otto from Honkai Impact third. And he's like the main like anti hero. Uh -huh. He did a whole bunch of horrible shit, but then he's like pseudo redeemed because apparently he was doing it for a girl. People were like, "Oh, okay, okay it's fine. So he, just, he's just a <laughs> sim." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he his ass is dead, right? And Honkai back third, uh -huh. but in this game, uh, he's alive again, right? And if you notice this part, crazy to me, um, Welt traveled from Honkai back third to Honkai Star Rail. He did almost every single cutscene. You see Welt like watching Locha. And like what he's doing. Because Locha doesn't know he's from an alternate reality. Welt does. Because Welt's from Honkai Impact 3rd. Mm. So every and you watch the trailer. Welt will always be watching Locha or asking what's Locha doing. And Locha, for his weapon, he's carrying around a huge casket. Yes. I think. I know. I think there's a. What's in the box? Dude, I think I know who's in the box. Who's in the box? Okay. So there's two people who I think it could be. One, and this one would be crazy. This one's like my, how crazy would this be? There's this character called Himiko who died in Honkai Impact 3rd. She's alive again in Honkai Star Rail. And like, if he like flopped out her corpse, like in front of Welt. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be crazy. But there's one, well, I guess there's two characters that have so far died in Honkai Star Rail. Um, but one was from way back in the day. Uh, but because they're in the uh, Lo Fu, I think he has Jing Yuan's trainer's dead body. In his casket. And okay. I think he's going to flop that in front of Jing Yuan. And I think that's going to cause some crazy shit. And the reason why I'm thinking there has to be something so drastic happening is because there's no main story quest, but there is four new story quests announced. And one of those is Locha. And if, dude, if that happens, that would make me lose my mind. You know what I think is going to happen? Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to tell us what's in the box. Because... How would know, they show the, the corpse... Yeah, exactly. Like, Number one. It would have to be like preserved. 
Well, well, I think he might have like. Well, there was, were, it could be Mara touched right with like yeah. that weird thing that like keeps them alive. Oh, dude, this is so yeah. crazy. Do you know how happy that makes you that you knew that? Oh yeah, <laughs> that makes me so pumped. Well, I played Holy the shit. game. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, like I, I think he's gonna like resurrect the 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 corpse of Jingyuan's trainer. I think we're gonna have to fight her. Uh, the reason why I think that is because the VA uh, announced that she's in the game. And so the splash art is okay. up. So how else are you going to play her if she's dead? I think it would be, wouldn't it be a better story if he brought the corpse to the enemies, like those Mensis guys, uh, and then had them resurrect Jin Yuan's uh, trainer, and that way she, he has to kill his trainer again? I think that would probably be a better story, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. I, because I, I feel like that's the most logical thing. Because, you know, like that blind girl at the end, yeah, you know, she like exposed that she could, like, uh, like not bring people back to life, but like something that's like a, a variation of that, yeah. And so maybe that's probably what happens. That'd be so sick. I think that would be very cool. But there's uh, there's four story quests Locha, Bailu, um, I think Yukong and Silver Wolf. And then there, I was expecting two events, there's fucking five. Uh, which is insane. Uh, a light cone that's going to be like top tier for um, Pela uh, is being released, as well as like a free artifact that you like. You just want to roll a good relic, you can just get a free relic with the, uh, with the event. Uh, they're making a museum that you can like customize, like The Sims. Uh, and then they're adding in wherever you kill a mob in the game, there's a chance for to summon a little piggy uh, to give extra rewards, which would be awesome for players like me who kill every single mob in the game every single day. Oh, you do that? Yeah. This I, is, it, that's- I, I've gotten it down to an hour and 10 minutes. Oh my God. That is That's still crazy. Okay, but think about it. I usually play WoW for like 12 hours a day. Yeah. I guess right? it's not that it's like, it's like two league games, but I just kill every mob. It takes like seconds. Every single mob? Yeah, every single one. Oh my God. I, you know what the sad thing is? I need to start doing that. <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, because you yep. need that many upgrade items because like each, it, it, it's, it's very complicated like each different character has different upgrade items that are based off of the place that they're from. Mm-hmm. And then you need to put, you need to upgrade the upgrade items so you can upgrade the upgraded, upgraded items. Mm-hmm. And then you can finally level up the character once you have 10 of them. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, it's a really fun game. Yeah, all this is beyond me because I play casually and I rolled, what's the new, the new banner's name? Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan, yeah. I rolled for him, absolute dog shit luck one copy three hundred dollars that's so sad i was so and like i was like 150 in and i was like well i can't stop now so I, yeah <laughs> that's the horrible I, I forgot how many i have now it's just there's so many i think uh, you have four i think I have four is that right yeah mm-hmm. I, I just it's well, how much did you spend uh i think it was like uh five hundred dollars something like that yeah you got you got right. boned <laughs> oh, or someone's so. were painful I watched all of them. That's really that's considered yep. bad. Yes. Four for I don't think so. Well, I think you got two for five hundred. Uh, I got and then yeah, I spent yeah, you know, it'd be six hundred. So I spent yep. another hundred and I got four. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, I think four out of six hundred is pretty good, actually. Like I'm happy with that because like I didn't get any of the other garbage ones too. The problem because is- the thing is like no, no. The thing is, yeah. The only bad one I got, I got that stupid little kid. Was, no, no, I, that's the good one. Oh, Clark. Uh, well, it will be not not for long, but yeah. yeah. Uh, the was it like the the kid that like uh, Jin Yuang was training, bro. I you, got him. What's wrong with that? I don't. Who gives a fuck? He's so fucking good. I, I, he looks stupid. No, okay. <laughs> You do. <laughs> Dude, he's so good though. Yeah. Like you need, I think, 20% crit rate on him uh-huh. and that's it. And then you have a functioning Yang Jing. Just 20% crit rate and then just as much crit damage as possible and he will pop the fuck off. I actually think he's the most underrated unit in Honkai Star Rail. Jesus, I had no idea. Yeah, no, he's nuts. But- I don't know. Like I- I've been playing that a lot. Did you guys see the uh, the PlayStation uh, event? Yep. I did not. I saw, like, some stuff that came out, but I didn't watch the actual live event. I couldn't. Oh, man. Like, the new the new Spider-Man game was fucking nuts. Yep. Like, it's actually crazy because, like, this is how confident they are with the new Spider-Man game. They said, hey, here's our new game. We're going to just show you gameplay of the game, and that's it. Yep, there we go. And then you just get to watch the game being played, and that's the commercial. Imagine that. Yeah, it's not like some weird overproduced thing, and then you see three seconds of gameplay. 
Oh my yeah, god. I hate when I hate that shit. I hate when games do that. Like did they do a cinematic and it like has nothing to do with the actual game. Yep. Did y'all see Throne and Liberty? <laughs> uh I probably did. I just don't remember which name that was. What was the so game? Like? This game, uh it was it's being published or produced. I don't remember which one, uh by NC Soft. Uh you know, with like their other greatest hits are all fucking Korean pay to win grind fests. And uh, this one was no different. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> and so uh, Amazon is publishing the game and Blue Protocol, which is like widely regarded even after the beta came out as a very good game. I think most people are positive about it, although there are some problems. Throne in Liberty effectively pushed Blue Protocol into 2024. That's what people think because Amazon's release schedule, they don't want to release two MMOs at the same time, which makes sense. And anyway, so they're releasing uh, Throne of Liberty this year, and the beta test came out, and the game was fucking dog shit. Like, I'm talking Fuck. about, I'm talking about it was so bad. So there's this thing in the game, it's called Astral Hunting, and it's autoplay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so every single stream is just somebody astral hunting, killing like a bunch of mobs, fighting with a bunch of other people with like their their mob, their their guy doing like one attack and they're just talking about how bad the game is. Fuck that. That's it. Yep. And they're not even playing the game. And I told people, it's like, this is going to be probably the best two weeks of stream content I'm ever going to have. <laughs> because like, I'm, I'm going to play the game on release, guys. And I'm just going to play it completely autoplay and the entire stream, I'm just going to be talking about how bad it is talking about other things that have nothing to do with it, and the game is going to completely play itself, and I'm going to beat the game, and then I'm going to quit. It's going to be amazing. Dude, I'm so sad about Blue Protocol. Yeah. I, I I am over the firm belief where I don't think games that release in one like country first then come over, and then you have to play them again for MMOs. I don't think they ever do as good if it was like a worldwide release at the same time. And I think the Blue Protocol Japan release first by over six months, seven months, I don't think that's going to do the global release any favors at all. I hate playing from behind. I hate knowing that, like, all the content we're going to get is being played by other people. I can't enjoy that shit. I, I really don't know why companies do that. And I'm hoping to God you can make sense of that for me because I don't get it. Sure. I, think, I think it's the dumbest shit. I don't think that was, like, at, you know, Lost Ark is the best example, right? Because yeah. Lost Ark was in Korea and it was in Russia. Then it finally came to the U.S., I don't think that my experience in Lost Ark was diminished at all because of the fact that Koreans were playing the game first. Because the truth is that they had to beta test all of the trash. That's true. Like all of the bad, shitty stuff that Lost Ark had on release, we didn't have to deal with any of that because the Koreans had to deal with it. Now the Japanese are going to be beta testing it and I'm not going to really play the Japanese version of the game. I'm Same. just going to wait for it to come out in, in the U.S., but, like, I'm assuming that whenever it comes out, and also Amazon is going to be using it uh, to kind of test to see, like, you know, what marketing does well, what marketing doesn't do well. Because that's what they did with Lost Ark, is they had, like, some of the marketing and some of the ways of monetization in Lost Ark in Korea are different than the way that they are in the U.S. But how is it different? So, like, for example, the pets that you can get in Lost Ark have random stats in Korea, whereas they don't have random stats in the U.S., and they have fixed stats. So the pets themselves are an element of gotcha. Then on top of that, there's a special type of armor set, these like legendary or relic armor skins, and they look super fucking badass. They are insanely cool. And uh, each one of those uh, like would give you like one or 2% extra main stat, like strength, intelligence, agility. And they were just skins though. And the way you obtain them was something called Yaz's jar. And that was an, again... <laughs> Big surprise, another fucking gotcha. <laughs> so uh, this would happen. And uh, people were worried about it coming out on, on the West because it was just like another element of like, you know, just pay to win gotcha garbage. And so they were upset about it. And Amazon ended up not releasing Yaz's jar at all. And uh, we don't even have the skins in the US in any capacity. Okay, so I mean, then I guess then we'll get a better, more polished version of the game. No, probably not. It'll probably be worse. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but, but yeah, okay, no, well, no, well, it, well. it will be worse, but, you know, it won't be because it came out in Japan earlier. Okay. I, I'm I'm trying to stay hopeful because, like, full disclosure, like, I was planning on just becoming a Blue Protocol channel. Uh -huh. That's how much, I like, I've been excited for the game, but when I saw that it was coming out in 2024 and not June, that shit broke my fucking heart, bro. Got plenty of content for a while though. Oh no, yeah, I always yeah. have content. To be fair, right? yeah. 
Amazon only said they were going to release Blue Protocol in 2023. It was never going to be in June. I, I kind of expected that yeah. it was going to be like a Japanese release than an, a U.S. release. I didn't even see that coming from a mile. I never yeah. saw that. Fuck. Yeah, well, I think that as far as I know, they had announced the release date of the game uh, before they announced the partnership with Amazon at all. And they never gave like a release date. Blue Protocol never gave a release date for... Uh, the Western version. Yeah. Uh, but Amazon gave a release date for it because they were the publisher. Okay. Shit, dude. Oh, yeah. I, I spend all day looking at this stuff. I've made YouTube videos about it. Oh, yeah. I know all about it. Did you guys see... Okay, we got to talk about some drama. Did you guys see the phase? The phase drama? Uh, I, I, I saw it. I didn't I did look see, into it. Yeah, I didn't bother clicking on any of the videos because I was like, this looks dumb. Is it a big deal? Yeah. Oh, wait. What happened? So... Oh god! Oh shit! Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. What happened was basically phase. There's like a lot of backstory for this. I'm gonna try to like abbreviate as much of it as I can. Sure. Basically, phase the is owned by a bunch of guys that are not the OGs of phase. Now, how did they get that? How did they get that ownership? Well, the OGs sold it to them, but they're not happy about that anymore. So in the process of that, the uh, the new ownership for FaZe, uh, they recruited or hired a new person into FaZe, and her name is, uh, I'm trying Grace, to read it, right? Grace Von Dean, is that Grace. it? Grace. Yeah. Well, anyway, so uh, she used to, uh, she was an actress. Uh, she was on Stranger Things, and she was also in a some sort of like film thing that happened before then. She had a bad experience that was like a weird sexual bullshit fucking, you know, Hollywood thing. And uh, it caused her to actually leave acting and stop acting and do streaming instead. And she is a legitimate streamer. I, I think her name is Blue File or something like that. Blue okay. Blue something. And uh, she got brought on to FaZe. And obviously, FaZe brought her on to clean up their image, to make themselves look like they're not a bunch of dude bros selling crypto scams, right? Like, that's, <laughs> you know, it, it just does not necessarily look that good. Especially not whenever it's a publicly traded company, at least for now. And uh, their stock's been going down a lot. So they're trying to rebrand it. And anyway, so this girl gets announced to be part of FaZe. And actually, she doesn't get announced. This guy, his name's FaZe Rain, who's like one of the OGs of FaZe, leaks because he's like actively... It's... Oh, my God. Well, if, if he's an OG, is he one of the people that sold the company? It's hard to say because sometimes okay. decisions like he could have not been a majority holder. He could have not been able to vote. He could have voted against it. It still happened anyway. It's impossible to know. But I, I think at some point, yeah, he probably made money from selling part of the com the company's mm -hmm. ownership, which is like fine. But again, it's like I, I almost feel like whenever I'm explaining this, I feel like a crazy person. <laughs> and so anyway, <laughs> uh, basically what, what ends up happening is that this girl, um, she she gets brought on and Faze Rain leaks it ahead of time. He says, hey, we're going to bring this person on because he's like actively publicly going against his own company now. What, wait, why? What is the... Is this an idiot? No one knows. Because because they're not the... Like, I get what they're doing. I, I understand it. It's like they feel like the people that are running the company are taking the identity away from what Faze used to be. And it's like, I can see that. I, I can see where they're coming from. And I was much more willing to give him like kind of the benefit of the doubt and kind of like see his side of things. But then this dude goes on Twitter and he says he, uh, what do you call it? He goes and he says that, uh, he says that she's mid and he wouldn't hook up with her even if she was drunk. What and the it, fuck? And, and the reason why is because she responded back to him talking shit about her and said, get wrecked. She said, get wrecked. And then he takes it personal. And then he said all this stuff. And by the way, this was like the period to a very long sentence of other insults and like other things to like discredit her, which to be fair, like some of the things it's like, yeah, she's not part of like the gaming community. I can understand like, well, they don't want to have somebody just from like, you know, corporate Hollywood coming in here and being part of our thing. Like, I get that. But like, what the fuck does this have to do with what she looks like? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was so weird. Then, uh, it, it, oh my, I, as I said, I feel like a crazy person explaining this. Well, me personally, I would love if Jim Carrey would have joined OTK. 
I think that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would be great. Yes, yeah. please. These phase guys need to chill the fuck out, man. Yeah, it's yeah, nuts. That sounds mad. Yeah, so it, weird. It's such a it, it's such a big drama now, and like I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. I think that she's gonna leave phase. I think she's gonna leave. Like, how can you not leave phase so after all is, this? Is stuff? he like out of out of like power or whatever? Like, why is he like doing this? I don't know. I don't know how they're structured. I have no idea. You know what else I don't get? What? Why the fuck did Mitch Jones ruin Classic Wow? Oh, you want to talk about another? Drama? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna really sound yeah, like a crazy. Person. I wanted to hear about it because we had a a merch shoot uh, yesterday, yeah. and <laughs> Asmund and Soda were just talking about it for like an hour, dude. So that's that's most of the insight I have on it. The the, the crazy thing with the shoot. OTK shoots, I got there fucking an hour late. And I was the third earliest person yep, to show you were up. An hour early. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. That was because I I got the I got the message and I thought it said it's between one and six. Just come between then. Yeah. And I was like, all right, fuck it. But dude, I think that shit is so funny because it makes me feel good. Because I'm gonna be real. I'm a horrible planner. Yeah. I cannot remember dates at all because if I do, then I can't sleep. Well, I found out that it was happening uh, whenever I woke up, and I was like. <laughs> yeah. Sick. And, uh, you know, a message, where the fuck are you? And it's like, oh, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, I didn't know. The night, I knew about it the night before. I was like, hey, I'm going to be two hours late just letting you know. And they're like, okay, cool. And yeah. then I get there and apparently that's when everyone else is getting there too. So I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, except for I didn't let them know. Dude, yeah. I got to witness chaos. Yeah. Because Soda was fucking pissed. It was, oh, yeah. you should have seen the, the look on Soda's face. Mm-hmm. He was saying... <laughs> He was saying, bro, where the fuck is Miz? Where is Miz? And then I'm oh, he's streaming. I have my phone. He's live. Miz Kip just went live. And I say, guys, yep. I don't think he's coming, boys. Oh my go. God. Those those photo shoots are they're they're a wreck. It's 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 it is very hard to get all of us in the same room at the same time, like on, uh-huh. on time. Has that ever happened? Uh it's happened. Really? At the same oh, at, time. all on time. I don't know. Ah, man. <laughs> yeah. They always have the same fruit platter and the same, like, what are those, like, wraps? Which suck. Yeah. I eat them. I'm always excited to eat them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not. I usually just get Taco Bell on the way over, so it's not really a big deal. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I, uh, well, to me, like, so it was the weirdest fucking thing. So, like, I, I guess it won't really matter if I say what happened. Like, so right across the street from from like the house that we were doing it at mm. was two of my best friend's grandparents' house. Yeah, that's like, crazy. I used to go over there. I saw the gate that I would open to go inside of their house. And I was right across the street from it. And now it's like this. And, and it used to be like, listen, like we were in Austin. This, I'm talking like, like 10, 15 years ago. It used to be a ghetto area. And like now there's just a bunch of fucking white people there. And it is totally different. <laughs> Like the H-E-B you guys drove through, people used to sell drugs there. Yeah. <laughs> and now they have a place for, like, refilling your Tesla. I can't believe it. Was that weird then? Because the house across yes. the street was such, like, it was a bougie-ass house. Like, And it was pool. not. It was so bad that it used to have a chain-link fence. And I climbed over the chain-link fence the first time. And I think their grandpa almost got out the gun because they thought that I was the police. What? <laughs> yep, because he didn't recognize me. Uh huh. And they said after that, you can only come in through the back because nobody ever comes in. But he would the shoot the police. Well, you never know what's going to happen, oh. right? I mean, yeah, bro. That guy yeah, go hard. I, I mean, to be fair, he also, like, every single day, he would watch Rambo First Blood. Like, it, it, every time I would come over there, he'd just be watching that. How old were you the last time you went over that place? Oh, I don't know. Like, maybe 20, 20, 20. So that shit fucked okay. you up then when you saw it? So crazy. I couldn't believe it. That must it. have been so weird. Yeah. I, I can't even imagine. But yeah, I took a few pictures there and uh, then I uh, pretty much left and went home and that was about it. Yeah. yeah. I, I I always feel like merch sells better if I'm not on the photos. No. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel no. like I feel like that's kind of true, I, I feel you know. Like the photos are just like they're just nice to have. Uh-huh. I don't think anyone like decides they are or aren't going to buy it like they're like, "Oh, they either like it or they don't." The photos are just nice to have, you know. Well, I don't know. I'd be like, oh, dude, if like, uh, you know, if this guy looks good in it, then I'll probably look good in it too. You yeah, know? exactly. It's like you don't have a homeless crackhead. <laughs> yeah. You don't be like, go under the bridge, be like, hey, you, 
Come on out here. Let's go. <laughs> Put on this shirt. <sighs> we'll buy you a 40. <laughs> you know? Oh, dude, that reminds me of a stream idea I had. I'm going to Vegas in a little bit, and I want to do a hire escorts to, like, just follow me around and play games with me, like, on my phone. Okay, that's good. Though apparently, that's not allowed. Why? I don't know. Apparently, a guy called Andy Melanakis did it, and he got banned for it. Really? Oh. Yeah. Wait, Andy got banned for that? Uh, no allegedly. Way. Apparently, it was on somebody else's stream just, like, having, like, escorts hang out with him just for fun. That's so stupid. That's what I heard. What? Which is so dumb. I know, bro. I the fact that they are escorts? I don't know. That doesn't make sense, because, like, there's porn stars that stream on what Twitch. What about OnlyFans? Yeah. Well, sh sh well, should I try it? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's like if you show like buying the service, maybe it's that. Like maybe if you just like have them. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I could know. be wrong. This is what I heard. But yeah, I think that I think it'd be such a fun idea. It's just like yeah. take like four escorts and just, you know, go to Taco Bell, uh -huh. play some Honkai, you know? Yeah. That'd be so cool. That would be the weirdest job. That would be the weirdest job. Like, no. What? No, I bet I bet for them, they are probably so happy and so Actually, good. that's true. They're probably because it's like a day off. This isn't some weird middle-aged man that's like, ah, he might shoot me at the end of it. You know, it's like just <laughs> you know, it's just a normal guy. And it's just funny yeah, for content. Guy. Yeah. Is, is escort is that are they supposed to like frick you? Yeah, of course. Wait, really? I thought yeah, I thought that's what that was. Yeah, like just, isn't escort like another name for like prostitute? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought Wait, they I were don't just think like, that like they have to. I thought they were just like like sexy people I mean, who would like follow you around and like be like, oh wow, yeah, do some slots. Well, yeah, they follow you. They follow you to the bedroom. Oh, that's weird. That's my understanding for it, right? I mean, oh. I, I don't I know. I've never looked into this. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I have no clue. Because I went to Vegas once when I was 17. This is when yeah. my stepmom sent me news of herself. That shit was crazy. That's uh, what? What? I, I told you that. I told you that. Yeah, before. I know. Uh -huh. I just yeah, you. Heard. But... <laughs> I was like, my bad. But I used to collect the uh, the escort cars, like they're like uh -huh. Pokemon. Oh wow! They had their boobies on it. That shit was crazy. Really? Yeah. Oh my but god! But their business it... cards with like a picture of them on. Yeah, it had a picture. They have like of them. their measurements, right, and everything like that. Uh, I don't remember. I just saw the the picture of a hot lady with their boobs out, and then my dad said, "Yeah, that's what they look like on the card." But when you call uh -huh. them. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna be the same thing, buddy. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, pictures from dad. 1995. <laughs> yeah. I tell by the camera. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I mean, I don't know. I've never, I've never been to Vegas. I've never done any of that stuff. It's uh, not really my scene. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you'd get banned for that or not. I think it'd be a really good stream. Now, I think that'd be fucking hilarious. I think, I think I'll try it after Elevated. Yeah. So that way, if I get banned, right. then I won't ruin the yeah. elevated stream. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, but I'm pissed because I want to do slots mm -hmm. and I wanted the blackjack. Just don't like. You can do just that. don't like hire them on stream and don't maybe like don't say what they. These are, are my friends. Hey guys. <laughs> these are these are my four girlfriends yeah. that I met today. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so yeah. funny. Yeah, I, I've been dating them for two years, but you guys don't know about it because you know I like to keep my private life separate. <gasps> you yeah. know what you should do. Uh, you bring out an iPad and have them do your rolls for you. That'd be so cool. On an IRL stream. Oh, my God. Make them do my dailies. Yeah. Oh my, no, I play gotcha games on, on a big tablet, and I, I'll bring it to other people and be like, do my roll. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. For luck. I'll, okay. like, bring it around the house and be like, do my roll. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Wow. <laughs> it's actually so fun because my tablet has touch feedback, too. It's so satisfying. Have you ever gotten mad at somebody for getting a bad roll? No, I probably should start though. Maybe that's, that's why idea. my luck's bad. I should, I should yeah. get more angry at people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give right. things people. that aren't their fault. <laughs> yeah, be yeah, like have that like a boxing glove on. They're like, all right, you want to do a roll? Okay, all right. Better hope you get a five Wait, star. So are we talking about the the bag drama? Or should we not? Talk bag about Jones. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't so, know if we were gonna not touch. So, them. how much do you know about it? Okay, so I know that he was streaming. And then, okay. well, well, some, that uh, yeah, number one, you're okay, wrong because yeah. the problem was whenever he wasn't streaming. But okay. Oh no no no! So he was streaming, okay. and then he was pl he was playing WoW, and someone in his chat was like, "Yo, what's up with your your bags? Like you got extra bags?" And then he like ignored it, and then like ten minutes later, he was like, "Wait, so what about the bags?" And then it became the chat spamming about the bags, and then he put it in sub mode, and they were still asking about the bags, and he was like, "Guys, like stop!" And then he went offline and deleted the mod. So, Bag Jones, Damn. the slayer, the destroyer <laughs> of integrity in hardcore classic world of Warcraft. So, um, I, I saw that Miz held you hostage and made you play classic Warcraft. 
That's right? not what happened. <laughs> but, so, but it is, though. And so, so you have a bit of an understanding of the game, right? I've played up to, I've played from one to 60 or one to 70. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you almost hit 70. Okay. So one to 60. Okay. Yeah. So you know how much of a pain in the ass getting bags are and like bag spaces at the beginning of yeah, the game. Yeah. Bag right? space is annoying. So Mitch basically had somebody either give him the gold or play his account and, oh, oh, no, no, that's actually a separate thing because now that people are calling into the question, how did Mitch get the bags? Now everybody's asking, well, how did Mitch get a new character every day? How does this happen? I have no and idea. He's like, guys, I played off stream yeah, like, he's playing a couple off bars. Yeah. He's like, okay, it was actually four bars. Okay, yeah. it was five bars. Three <laughs> bars, it's two bars. Okay, so I did, it was five bars and I got the bags. But l listen, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. And anyway, so he went and he did that and he got all 10 slot bags, which like for classic WoW, that's actually quite a lot. And uh, somebody bought them for him and he didn't have the money for it. And like classic WoW hardcore is like integrity is number one. Like that's what really matters. And Mitch not doing that, like in my opinion, obviously, like I hate to break character guys, but I really don't give a fuck about any of this. And I think it's hilarious. But the fact that people are getting so mad about it and the fact that it's even an issue to begin with and just everything surrounding it is hilarious to me. I love it. <laughs> I just want to, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect anybody else. Well, it does. Though, it does? Right? Because, well, whenever uh, it's the integrity of the game and people like everybody has this like new new age gamer mindset that, oh, it doesn't matter what other people are doing as long as I'm having fun. That's what really matters. No, it, that's not true. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you want to have the stuff that other people don't have. You want to be able to show it off and you want to be able to look at them and be like, that's a loser and I'm a winner. And that's what games do. And that's why, what Wait, makes so people important. are actually mad. I thought people were just like, it was just funny. Like, they were just joking at him. People are actually mad. <laughs> Wait, where? Like, Reddit? Well, have you not seen the WoW Reddit? Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah, it's insane. Of course no, not. I, I've never been to the World of Warcraft subreddit now. Oh, never heard Asma talk about Warcraft it? Subreddit. It's the I'm classic. The Diablo subreddit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the classic World of Warcraft subreddit. Oh, there's more it, than one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, it's like, um, a ton. did you ever read Dante's Inferno in, uh, in high school? I read part of it. Yeah, so like, you know, like the different steps. Oh, the of layers of hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the classic WoW is like on one of the very, very close insular layers. Oh, oh yeah, it's a lower level. Yeah, it, it's okay. a, one of the lower levels, like way past the Inter the river of burning people and yeah. everything. Oh yeah. Okay. So that's basically where we're at, and Mitch has earned their uh, their distrust and their their anger, and Just people now? were. Well, <laughs> it's been a long process. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, let's start in 2014. But no, no, I mean, like obviously. Uh, you know, like the thing is, like Mitch is, oh, is Mitch is really, really good at the game. Like he's he's unironically like a fucking <laughs> savant in arena. He is a an, an arena god. What does he play in arena? Mage. He is a god mage. He's a rank one mage. I love this edit. Final update. Yeah. Mitch's final excuses. I just didn't know how much bags are worth. I didn't know they cost that much. Hasn't he been playing for like fifteen years? No. Yeah, I believe him. Okay. Yeah, I believe him, hundred percent. So what what I'm curious is, wasn't there a way where he could have gotten out of the bag drama, but he was too dumb to know that there was a certain vendor that sold that specific bag? So people think that Mitch went to his offline screen while he was on stream, and he opened up trade with a vendor to see how much the bags were. But because he didn't buy them himself, he didn't know which vendor sold the bags, and it, he opened up trade with the wrong vendor. Oh no! And but they but he had game sound on, so everybody heard it, even though he covered the screen. Oh no! Thomas says, as someone who doesn't play WoW, the wire. Keep going. Understand. I must say the gaslighting was crazy. Dude put on an act forever. Tried going sub mode, but his subs were also destroying him. And when faced with no other option, he ends stream and deletes the VOD and comes back later to admit that he had traded bags. But it gets worse. <laughs> what? Dude goes on to dig a further hole by saying, a mod traded me my bags and admits to knowing it was against the rules. But what he isn't thinking of is that people are pointing out that you can't even trade while using the add-on. The game physically doesn't let you, which means he specifically edited the add-on to be able to cheat. 
when he wants to or turn it off during specific times to get around the rules. Oh my God. Bro literally dug himself into such a bigger hole and doesn't realize he is the reason that people got so triggered. That, no, that was in caps. It was caps lock. He is the reason that people got so triggered. <laughs> there you go. Uh, they felt lied to or like he was making a fool of them lying straight to them with his gaslighting and then plays the victim saying, yeah, everyone always hates me and people think I'm the devil and all this over some bags, bro, lol. All I gotta say, man, I made some popcorn and sat back and watched the weirdest court case in history and it was oddly entertaining. I think the reason why it's so entertaining is because everybody deep down inside knows this doesn't matter. And so people feel completely fine being absolutely outraged about it because they know it's so stupid that like <laughs> it just it is of no consequence. I think yeah. when I when we first talked about this, I was in the mindset. I, I'm a guy who I'm I'm very quick to adapt my opinion to like new information. Okay. And when you said it actually does affect people, and I was thinking, okay, how how would that affect yeah. me? Yeah. And then I related it to what I do, which is I'm now free to play. And if there was a guy who was free to play in my game, right. and I knew he was lying about but being free to play. you knew that he was like dropping like 500. Yep. And he would never yeah. open up the gem screen. That shit would actually piss like, me off. Like imagine like somebody says they're free to play, but they have like a, uh, you know, E6 mm -hmm. genuine. Yep. It's like, yeah, man, I just went off stream to like do some rolls and yeah. it was just crazy. Just getting, got lucky. They're getting credit for it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Is he still one of the, the bigger WoW streamers? Oh yeah, yeah. Mitch, Mitch gets pretty good viewership. I mean, Mitch has always been like, like five, a big streamer. Five, five, six K, right? Yeah, somewhere in there. Sometimes more. Now he's getting more. Oh, <laughs> true. So this actually just helps him. Good yeah, him. it is. Good for him. Oh my god, I think it's so funny, man. I think the thing with it benefiting someone is the thing that I've learned is drama. I think benefits you in the short term, and I think it fucks you in the long term. It I, is. I agree. Yeah, yeah definitely. It like, depends and, on the drama, though. There the, is some drama that like is really beneficial. But some drama that's not. It depends on what it is. For for me, just full disclosure, I've already had six people come after me for Hawkeye Star Wars stuff. I've responded to it. Wait, wait, which one? What, what, you had the one that was like they were mad at you for doing React videos, but who else? Uh, there was a React one, and then there was another React one, okay, and then yeah, there was yeah. another React one. Okay. Uh, and then there were some other people who were thinking that I wasn't free to play. Okay. Because I was progressing like too fast. Right. Uh, and then. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, there's this other one where uh, I have my mod and his name is Coffee. And I'm, I full disclose this. Uh, if I can't kill all the mobs in the game, I say, yo, Coffee, can you finish that up for me? Okay. And that's it. But I've decided that I'm just not going to respond to anything. Because if there's anything I learned from Genshin. Uh-huh. When you respond to drama. It makes it bigger. It'll come back to. Makes it way bigger. And the worst thing is there's going to be some people who say enough, well, Tech Town started it. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm good. I think I think I'm legit good on drama, bro. I'm good. I... Character growth. I'm, tr I'm trying, man. It's annoying. I have so much... There's always drama that I'm dealing with, I'm involved with. It's just normal for me. Well, I think, like, I think yours is different because yours isn't like... I don't think it's not like versus another creator. It's like versus like a fucking corporation, like a dynasty. Yeah. And you're like, yo, fuck Blizzard, fuck... Uh, you well, know, there's Diablo sometimes 4. there'll be creators that get mad at me or somebody like that that gets pissed off, but it's like really not super common. Yeah. Like I try not to like really go hard on people unless they make it personal or something like that. Yeah. Like, and, and so I'm usually pretty much like, I'm going to just stay in my lane and do my thing. And that's about it. Yeah. But if somebody if somebody gets mad, I'll I'll talk shit right back to them. I got no problem with that. But I have I haven't seen you make a video like that in like years. Uh not really. Like I've I've reacted to people's videos I've disagreed with, but I try not to disagree yeah. with them to like make them look stupid. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I think like what? Maybe maybe like quantum. Oh my god, I forgot all about him. I didn't. That shit was fucking oh, hilarious. That was fucking Quantum, the guy who uh made a bad Elden Ring review and now he's like in jail. What? Yeah, he got <laughs> to uh he got charged of domestic abuse and now he's in oh, jail. Oh no. what the fuck? Yeah, okay. imagine that. Yeah. Imagine that. The funny thing is I told people it's like a person like that, it's only a matter of time until they get in trouble again. And yep. he was. And uh, yeah, guy's a complete piece of shit. It's like a really long story. It, there was like drama from like last year, or like two years ago. It's like, yeah, I, I, as I said, this is like my job, which is actually, it's kind of crazy to think about that like my job is basically just keeping up with like random 
like minor internet celebrities, like, <laughs> dealer celebrities. Like, yeah, like <laughs> their their altercations with each other. It's actually kind of funny though, right? It is. It's like watching a soap opera, but everybody's real and less good looking. Yeah. Damn, that's fucking real, bro. And now a word from our sponsors. Well, guys, if maybe you didn't notice it, maybe you did. But during the episode, we were wearing the first line of official Steak and Eggs merchandise. I've got the hoodie right here. I love Steak and Eggs. And we have t-shirts as well that Emmy and Tectone are wearing, as well as a couple of other hoodies, I believe, and some other t-shirt variations. So if you want to check it out for yourself and take a look at it, head on over to otknetwork.com. Speaking of which, <laughs> face app? What about, oh yeah, I saw you. You've been posting pictures Dude, like you that. and Seer go fucking crazy on that shit. Dude. He was just on the couch giggling at the OTK merch shoot because he was just editing everyone to be He like made old. Soto look old and fat. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Texas man. Hold up. There's got to be a photo yeah. of that somewhere. Excited for classic WoW 5. Dude, it made me so happy because like I, I, I posted, we, we all met up at the OTK thing and uh, I posted like eight photos yeah. of like me and everybody and uh, and they're all super good photos. And then I post one of me, like, edited the fuck out. Like, crazy jawline. Insane yeah. cheekbones. Blue eyes. Every comment was like, holy shit, man. You look great. And I'm yeah. like, guys, there's yeah. no way you think this is me. Yeah, like, what the fuck yeah. is that? That caption is so good. I respect women. <laughs> it's yeah. so badass. Fuck, man. The funny thing is that Schlatt did it so much mm -hmm. that my dad thought that that's what Schlatt looked like. He's like, yeah, there's that one good looking guy in your uh, in your org. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Because I immediately knew what happened. I was like, you mean the guy with the mutton chops? He's like, yeah, yeah. That guy, it's like, okay. Yep. Well, some of those filters, if, if like you've never seen like a comparison, I can see why you might think it was like, that's actually what someone looks like. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm like, I mean, the I've ones Schlatt never... does are crazy, though. Like, yeah. He looks insane. He's airbrushed. Yeah, he looks yeah. insane. <laughs> I've never used one of those or done one of those ever in my life. I think the most... They're funny. I've... You, should, you should try really? it. Really? They're, they're actually funny. Wow. Like, it's actually entertaining to just, like, go through and see all them. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I got you. I'll okay. do one right now. Okay. Give me give me fucking two minutes. I'm going to I'm whip up um, something crazy. I'd watch TikToks on my stream, like, on uh -huh. a phone. Every time a filter came up, I would, like, put the filter on. It's so fucking stupid. Oh, my God, no. Here we go. <laughs> I think the best part is, like, watch the face app. It's st I still look like a zombie. <laughs> I think it's going to be great. I'm excited. I want to see this. Yeah, I'm very curious. But, yeah, I mean, I think that the face app thing, like, so, Emmy, since, like, you're a girl, it's, like, much more of a thing. Do you think that fucks with girls' heads? Yes. It, it, there's, like, evidence of that, yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah, there was even a thing where um, I think that they like went back on this. Like they just like gave up. There was when Instagram filters that are like on the app start getting really popular. There was this one that was really popular that like it would like make your nose smaller, like your jawline chisel yeah. looks bigger. They actually removed it and they said it's because like this is causing like facial dysmorphia for people. Like we don't want to support this, but I guess they just were just like fuck it. Like we can't control it. They're like yeah, we just like yeah, but just let him hit. But, him. Yeah, there, let him there hate was himself. One, there was one that was removed, but I yeah. guess now they're just like whatever. We can't. No, it's bad. Really, uh, I have I have a buddy who does like TikTok and shit. And then, like, they have, like, the filters and all that shit. Uh -huh. And then after they're done, they look at themselves in the mirror and they're like, holy fuck, I'm disgusting. Really? It's so bad. I, I do not like filters at all. Well, I something that TikTok does is um, if someone uses a filter, the name's in the corner. So then you know that they're using a filter. Uh -huh. But there's still people that, like, can film they somewhere can else and then upload it. Yeah, exactly. But yep. for most that are using a filter, it'll say that they're using a filter. There's that one where it was, like, this pretty girl... And then it was like this really cute Asian girl. And it turned out that it was a 53-year-old man from the Japan. Streamer. Jesus. Yeah. You saw like the, the one that was yeah. like. And they caught him. And he had really nice hair. So everybody <laughs> thought it was, uh, you know, they thought it was legit. And yeah, there were like all these guys simping for this girl. And it's actually a 50-year-old man. Like the meme is real. I had, a, I had a buddy who would only voice call me. On a Snapchat, yeah, that way they could have a filter on because they didn't want to see themselves otherwise. Like it is okay, it is bad, and it's not just for girls either. It's not just for girls. 
It's for guys as well. Like, really? I genuinely think that filters are going to, this might be a boomer tag. Um, I genuinely think filters are going to obliterate, like, the youth's mental health. 100%. Because they see how all these people, like, Jesus is. fucking Yeah, and, bro. like, yeah. not even just for people using it on themselves. Like, sometimes I'll, like, you know those pictures where it's, like, a female celebrity and one's, like, her on, like, the runway and then the other's hers, like, going to Starbucks and, her, like, and, and she's, talking. like, fat and she's not yeah, wearing but, like, any makeup. she still yeah. looks normal. And then, like, I'll see these comments, like, oh, see, she's disgusting. But on, like, on the, like, the real one, she still looks normal. I'm just, like, yeah. are you guys going to go out in life and just think every person you see is, like, disgusting and just, like, be unhappy? Do you really like, want the answer to that? Well, I know the answer to yeah. that. It's just, it's just exactly sad because I do. feel like it's hurting the people that like feed into that. But yeah, yeah. Like, she doesn't look like the girls in anime. What an ugly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No spoiler. That's how they are, right? It's just nuts. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of guys are like that now. You know, like people are so conditioned for like these expectations that it's just Yeah, or like I'll, I'll see like on Twitter or something. It'll be this girl that's like, Pose like her face is beautiful. Yeah. Like, even then, the picture's edited and the comments will be like mid. And I'm like, yeah. Then, then what is like? What do you want? I just feel bad for them, like, cause they're just never gonna be happy. It's like, yeah, okay. You want to see like a real girl? Okay, here it is, and it's a fucking picture. It's a fucking two D girl <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, that's my girlfriend. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. There was a South Park episode on that. Did you see that? No. Is it recent? Uh, I, I think it was pretty recent. Um, I think it was Butters. He was wondering, also, yo, Jay, check out my Twitter and pull up the photo of Asman. It's crazy, yeah. by the I way. I just tweeted it. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, it. yep. It's like, what did uh, you, you do to him? Oh, I made him. He looks no different than he does in real life. He looks entirely the same. Yep. But yeah, Butters is walking around. Okay. <laughs> Not crazy. Like, you zoom okay. in at all? Dude. The crazy thing is, like, if you didn't, know who Asman was, you might look at this picture and be like, that's a real person. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no doubt. That's crazy. The eyebrows are, like, way more bushy, too. Oh, yeah, I made it thick. Yeah, yeah I thickened yeah, that shit the fuck shit, up, bro. crazy. And that took me, like, 40 seconds to do, bro. It's crazy. But to be fair, this guy still looks like he does drugs in a van. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, so but... it's like you just you can't get away from it. <laughs> you try. It's like the only difference is it went from doing fentanyl to only doing ketamine. Yeah, but that that's a dude who I would want to do drugs in a van with. Yeah, that would be dope, dude. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> that's nuts. But yeah, Butters is walking around with like this one chick, mm -hmm. and you know she's like obviously like very overweight, face super deformed. Yeah, but he just carries around this photo of her on Instagram. And he's like, like, guys, guys, check out my girlfriend. Check out my girlfriend. They're like, oh my God, wow, she's so hot. Yeah. It's it's so bad, dude. I don't know. I hate it. I think that like people are just going to have to get used to looking the way they look. And if you can't they come won't. to terms with that, that's your problem. And at the end of the day, you can't live in a fantasy world, at least not yet. And so you're just going to have to acknowledge it, right? I mean, it, it's like you can't protect people from it because... I mean, people won't do that, though, because everyone else yeah. is doing it. So then they're like, well, I have to do that, too. Well, exactly. Right. But And, and it, there's not that you can't do it. It's just that you have to know and have that healthy disconnect. And it's like you can't just prevent everybody from photoshopping themselves effectively. It's just what's going to happen. Yeah. It's the same with makeup or anything else. I mean, that's yeah. just life. I, I know a lot of people as well who are like, oh, I want to be like beautiful like the people I see online. And then they, like, get surgery to, like, you know, clean it up here, put some extra shit here, most get of the bigger people there. That, but most of those surgeries don't look good in real life. Well, I think if you spend a lot of money, they could. Yeah, yeah. They, they can. Yeah. But in general, most of those, like, unnecessary cosmetic surgeries do not look good in real life. Yeah, I had a really weird experience where uh, the first person I ever met with like fake boobs was yeah. like I think like a year well, ago. Well, fake boobs usually like look good. But well, not these ones oh. because <laughs> well, okay. Well, first of all, they, they were wearing like pretty pretty conservative clothing, like they were all covered up. But then like I gave them a hug, and it was like oh, okay, said the rocks. it was fucking rocks. Yeah, <laughs> like that was weird as fuck. It, it depends on the girl. It depends on how. Like, it, there's a lot of there's a lot to it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and I. And I, I I have no problem with that stuff, by the way. Like, if people feel like they need that to be comfortable. Well, I don't give a fuck what somebody yeah. does. You want yeah, to put some shit in your body? Like, that's not, I, I don't care. You're not putting it in my body. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I, I just, want. 
I want to make sure that that change comes from them wanting to and them not thinking they have to in order to be beautiful and like accept themselves. It usually is the latter though. I know. Oh, yeah, no, they I do. Know. And it's yeah. like somebody gets like 18 different plastic surgeries and they think they finally look beautiful. Nah, bitch, you look like a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's just a fact. Oh. I think most plastic surgeries are so subtle you wouldn't even notice, but the ones yeah, like where right. it goes that far is usually like there's some kind of like mental illness there. Oh, where, yeah. Like they are like so, you know. I will admit, I've gotten cosmetic surgery before, and it was it made really? me very. What'd you get? I had a mole on my head. I got it sliced off. Oh, yeah, that's. I don't, it. I don't really think of that when people say like plastic surgery. Oh, well, I'm also thinking about getting. Uh, I'm I'm probably not going to do this. I was thinking about getting. Uh, I think it's it, no, it's not lipo. It's Botox. Think about getting from my fucking forehead. No, Why? it's, it's wrinkly, bro. It's wrinkly. Oh, so Dude, that's normal. Is no, it? You know what that's happened? part of life. Uh, my my forehead, like I have no wrinkles, no signs of aging anywhere except for my fucking my my head. Yeah. Uh my hair. Um, but like my forehead has like a bit of wrinkles on it now. And the reason why is because I <laughs> I straight up am doing that. Like by the time I'm 50, I'm gonna have like it's gonna be like this, man. It's gonna be so bad. Yeah. Because I'm moving my eyebrows all the time. Yeah, maybe I just don't like can't relate since like I, I don't have the forehead thing. Whenever people talk about like the forehead crinkles, I'm like, bro, that's literally the most normal thing. Like I've seen like super young people with forehead wrinkles and like it's so normal. I don't think anyone's like, ew, forehead wrinkles. That's so ugly. I feel like it's worse to like, you know, like freeze your forehead and your eyebrows and never be able to move them again. Yeah. No, but it's just because like in anime, they don't have wrinkles. So I'm oh not my used God. to it. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, like in the pictures, like it's not the same thing. Yeah. Like this drawing. You know this 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 drawn character doesn't have this, so I shouldn't have it either. I I agree. See, that's that's what I'm saying. Let's I don't know. Like, I've never really thought about doing that. I thought about getting a hair transplant, but I've seen people in real life with hair transplants. Sometimes they don't look good. They looks like oh, really? a chia pet. Yeah, it I've doesn't never, look. Super I don't think great. I've ever seen one in real life. Or maybe I was kind of. I was I was supposed to get a hair transplant with Miz. I didn't want one. I did yeah. not want one. I was doing it because he wanted to do it, and he said, "Do you want to do it with me?" And if somebody wants me to do some shit, I'm like, "Yeah, I'm down for anything." Yeah. Uh, but I think they're probably pretty good, you know, if you just spend a lot of money. It depends on what it is. Like, to me, I just don't really give that much of a fuck. And it's like, you know, Hulk Hogan, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, that guy's a badass. He's and, like, dope. He was, he had a skullet. He didn't have a That's mullet. true. A skullet. Like, that, I, I don't think that matters at all. That's a real American. Yeah, it's fine with me. I feel like a hair transplant is, like, such, like, a small thing that can boost someone's confidence that doesn't, like, change how they look entirely so i i don't like see a problem with that oh i don't give a fuck like i just i, I wouldn't want to change like i think that personally it's like whenever you start changing yourself it's just like that's the beginning and it's not the end because once you you find one thing wrong with yourself and you solve that then there's something else wrong or there's something else after that. Uh, I I can see that happening with some people, but I think yeah. for some people, they have like one thing about themselves that's always mm -hmm. like bug them, like maybe like a mole or like yeah. their teeth are crooked. And then when they fix that, then like they don't think about it. Oh my I had that problem. My teeth are fucked. Like my teeth used to be like really big and like I used to be like really buck toothed and uh, then they all fell out. So like now it's not an issue. Sick. And so, uh, yeah. Teeth problem is solved. And uh, yeah, like if you look at pictures of me when I was like 18, oh my God, I looked like a fucking horse. Do you have any photos? I have, yeah, I have photos of myself. But I need to see those. That sounds fucking yeah. hilarious. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I have plenty of them. Like I posted them online and yeah, I look totally different. Like with my, uh, with my mouth at least. Mm. And so it's like, yeah, you know, things like that just have a way of working themselves out. Yeah, I 1 million percent have gingivitis. Like really? 100%. What's that, gum disease? Uh, all I know is my mouth bleeding a lot. So oh, I'm like, God. I'm like brushing my teeth. Like that was a wake up call for me. That's a floss. I am. I'm water flossing, water picking, which is every single time I do it, it's like a horror film. Dude, I, out I fucking love flossing. Like it just makes my mouth feel so clean. But like my mouth has changed where whenever I eat steak and this shit is driving me fucking insane. There's one, there's these two teeth and then steak gets wedged in between my two teeth back there. Oh, and then it hurts, and I can feel my teeth separating, and then my gums swell up. And unless I fucking push it out, it is awful. You gotta so, eat on the other side of your mouth. I, I it, it's hard. <laughs> it's it's hard to only eat on one side because then my jaw gets tired on one side, and then it starts clicking, and I feel like an old oh, fucking man. God. I'm literally, I'm, I have a dentist early June. I'm getting like, all my, I still have my wisdom teeth. I'm getting all my wisdom teeth removed because holy shit, I can't take it anymore. I can't, yeah. Asmin. It's bad. 
is bad. I, I, I need to use the bathroom. Yeah, for sure. Bathroom break. Okay, so like I, I had the same thing, right? Whenever I first went to the dentist, they told me it would be fifty grand. To fix what my the teeth. fuck? Wait, well, huh? Yeah. How? Fifty thousand dollars to get all of my that teeth. That costs fixed. more than veneers, like just to start fucking over. What the hell? Uh, well, it was like to get a lot of them fixed and like get like uh, bridges and you know preserve oh the ones that existed a- at the time, right? And I remember. <laughs> It's actually why one of the reasons why I started streaming. It's like oh, I'm not making enough money. I got to stream to pay for this. <laughs> so I started streaming. <laughs> that's what that's what one of the big reasons for it was. And uh, anyway, so I, I did that, and it's like, man, that was fucking brutal. But the truth is, like now, like I would get like I've gotten like multiple, multiple, multiple root canals, and like it's just completely painless. How how, how is a root canal painless? Uh, they just put the thing that makes you numb and then they do it. And then it's like, okay, they're like, well, you're done now. Okay. Cause that, I was horrified of that. No, nah, no, nah, they don't like the, the it, it's actually not a big deal. Like they just turn the pain off. Okay. Cause like when I used to go, the last time, full disclosure, the last time I went to the dentist was like when I was in like eighth, ninth grade, probably. Yeah. And they would take this scraper and they'd be like, <laughs> fucking mouth, like gushing blood. They're like, does this hurt? Does this hurt? And I'm like, fuck yes, it hurts, dumbass. Yeah. What are you doing in my mouth? It's fucking horrible, oh dude. God. And then like, like I, I can't, I can barely breathe my nose. Uh-huh. Um, my nose is also cosmetic. Yeah. Yeah. Can you breathe even a little bit or no? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. And is that like because the deviated septum or whatever it's called? That's what I've been told. I've never gotten it checked out. Apparently you have to get a nose job to fix that. <laughs> If yeah, no, I'm good. No, yeah. like I'm being serious. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, but like I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to breathe. Like they're, while they're doing their thing. Like, I remember gonna... whenever I heard the term "mouth breather" breather as an insult, and I was like, <laughs> "No, but I'm uh-huh. being... no, I've heard people yeah. say if you can't breathe through your nose, there's like a nose job for it that doesn't even like really change the way it looks, and then you can just breathe perfectly fine forever." That would be cool because I heard a study that if you get a nose job, there's like a two percent mortality rate, and that scared me. And I don't two percent. Yeah, and I don't know. Pretty if that's, good. I don't know if that's real. That's way higher than I would have thought. That's what. Once again, it's like one in fifty people. That is what yeah. I have heard. It could be wrong. It's probably wrong. Uh-huh. I did not okay. fact check it yeah, yeah. at that's all. Probably wrong. Can you Google that, Jay? Mortality rate yeah. of deviated septum surgery. Cool, because it could just be bullshit. Because there's a kung fu technique to like kill people. Where you like pulse oh, yeah, like their nose yeah. upwards. And I was like, okay. You think that's what it is? That's what they do? They're like, all right, <laughs> let's fix this shit. Bop. All right. <laughs> shit, I don't fucking I think know, man. They do break it and like put it in the right spot. I have no idea. Yeah. Weird. So I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I had a content creator when I was hanging out. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this? It says one in 10,000. One in 10,000. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be that one. Wait. Rhinoplasty death rate is five to seven. There's no way. Imagine that. See that? Imagine that. Imagine There's that. There's no way. The, the, the next one says one in 10,000. Those just don't match. Yeah. One of those is wrong. So exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, but, but which one is it? Probably the one in 10,000 is the true one. Okay. Well, see, I'm not trying to take that risk. Dude, if it was 7% for a nose job, I feel like no one would get them. I think that people would. Really? Yep. Yeah, I think they would. Oh, my yep. God. There's a lot of people that, like, they have a big problem with their nose. Like, I feel like mine's fine. I don't really give a shit. Yep. Like, some people just absolutely hate it. How would you even die from a nose job? Like, it's not like open heart. Oh, surgery. I don't know. Break, a bo- break of the bone, and then it shatters, and it pierces your brain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And her, her lungs, her lungs filled, with filled with blood. Well, that sounds bad. What? That sounds awful. See, that's why wow, I'm not doing that. Sucks. Her lungs filled. Okay. That's why I'm not doing that. All right. Yeah, yeah I'm not. No yeah, one, I'm not getting no any of that stuff. No one just breathe through your mouth. Tectone, who cares? <laughs> yeah, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> so here's the amazing content idea I had. Okay. Which, to be fair, I've had some incredible ideas. All right. What are um, they? And Soda, I had an idea so good yesterday that Soda was like, holy shit, Tectone, what the fuck? Yeah. We're doing that immediately. I don't even know if I should say that on here because it's going to be the next Trash Talk tournament. Okay. Uh, which I'm hoping we're all doing mm-hmm. because it's... Talk about it then. Yeah, I won't talk about it because you should be there. Oh, no. You all, you both should be there. It would be oh, no. fucking sick. I'm sure I'll be there. It's, it'll probably be next door. Folks. Like, uh, Cameron, mute this. <laughs> That's so good. Yep. Yeah, That's, that. Wait, so four people per team, so yep. it'll be like 16 people? Uh, No, two teams. Just head to head. 
That's so good. Mm-hmm. We have to be on the same team. Yep. Three of us. That would be who would nasty. Be, who would be our fourth? Uh, probably Lakari. I'd be down for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be sick as that would, fuck. That's such a good idea. Yep. I was so happy. Because because in case you guys don't know, so here's how ideas with me work. I, I say 500 of them and three of them are good. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's smart. That works. That's, oh. a, that's a really good idea. I'm hyped now. Yep. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. That is happening. That, he said that is happening next Trash Talk tournament. Oh my God. Oh boy. So, oh is, boy. Bro, I'm going to go fucking crazy. Yep. I'm so yep. excited. Yep. Uh, and then my other idea that I came up with, uh, I was having sushi dinner with Alok, healthy gamer. Uh-huh. I uh, started all oak. Oh, God, it's so hard to say the name. Uh, please for, forgive me if I said anything wrong. Uh, we're sitting there. We're eating sushi. I was getting him like everything. Because like I love going to sushi at the place yeah. that uh, we've gone to. Uh, just getting people whatever they think they might like. And he was having a great time. And then we were sitting there and we were talking about Camp Canute. Uh, and Camp Canute was one of the most like changing periods of my whole life. I think it was like peak content on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Like I love every, when I go to any con, even when I still stream, like, Hey man, like seeing your journey uh, through camp, Canute like really inspired me. I lost a lot of weight. Hey, you were fat before though. Yeah. 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 I've lost a lot of fucking weight. And that's why I was really happy to do camp Canute was because if someone who looked like me could do it, then like anybody could do it. Uh, You're still in really good shape, man. Like I noticed that the other day I was like, wow. I'm trying. Yeah. I still want to lose. It like, shows. I still want to lose like 20 more pounds. Because uh, it would be cool to just be like, I am good. And I'm hoping yeah. I get to that point where I'm like, I am good. Um, but I was thinking, instead of uh, like a training camp for like people's physical strength, one for like their mental health. And I was thinking like a camp alone would be really cool if there was a way. And I'm, I'm really not sure how to do this like on stream or off stream. Either one. I don't really care. I just think it'd be good for streamers to do. Would be like, like a three day trip. Like maybe like a Friday night. All day Saturday, Sunday morning, where a log teaches us like how to let go, release, relax, uh-huh. uh, like off stream activities, like kind of like in a group bonding session where we like talk about our frustrations and things that we want to work on and like how to like let go of past drama and move forward as creators and try to like connect with the world a little bit and get out of our head of like what's the next content, what's the next content, what where what, what what's my next stream, what's my next stream. And I think like a really cool like mental health thing for not only viewers but also streamers to like kind of like experience your favorite content creators moving forward and getting better in their head. I would be I would be down to do that. I think that yeah, would be a good cool. idea. Yeah, sounds cool. I mean, it's kind yeah. of ironic though. Like, oh, here's how to disconnect, but we're doing it live on stream. Yeah. <laughs> I think the funny thing, like one thing I've learned that's actually helped me so much with mental health is to just not give a fuck. Yeah. And it's Model actually it up. It, Model it up. It'll explode someday. It, no, <laughs> it's not old. bottling it up. It's it just coming. it goes right through you. It's like, oh, you had a bad day on stream today? Okay. Yeah, you really did. You fucked up today. Well, hopefully tomorrow you won't fuck up. And that's it. Yep. And it's like, well, if I do fuck up tomorrow, well, then hopefully the next day I won't fuck up. And if I do, well, <laughs> maybe guys, I'm just a fuck up. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, that's it. <laughs> so I've just tried to like, I felt like. This is like probably one of the most unhealthy ways to look at it is it's like the less things I care about, the happier I am. True. That is true. Dude, last year, yeah, there was never a moment in my life I was not thinking about what do I need to get done next? What what, what goal do I need to accomplish immediately without the fear of God? Yeah. Now I wake up and I'm like, bless Bung (laughs) Honka. It's the (laughs) best. Yeah. Like I have nothing to worry about now, and I'm hoping it stays that way for the foreseeable future. I feel that way right now. You know, we I've got Diablo 4. I'm going to go mm-hmm. back on my main channel, probably to stream Diablo 4 and the Games Expo. Oh, yeah, it is in Games another Expo. state that I have to fly over to. Man, that is a little upsetting. But other than that, I mean, eventually that will be over, and then I will be back in, in my nest, in my cave. And I will be safe. A nest. Yep. I, it's weird because like... I had to clean the nest, by the way. You ever like see someone who's like... It, wait, again? Oh, well, recently. like. Uh, oh, yeah. You said you weeks. like yeah. spilled some soda. In the no, no. That was not... I didn't moldy. clean it after that. That wasn't a big deal. Oh. But, like, you, you ever see someone where like, they're like, like, like worried about something and like yeah. to you, it's just like, why are they worried about that? Like they're going to be fine. Yeah, like yeah. when you like see someone who's like worried like a huge test that they've already prepared for. Yeah, like, that's that's kind of how like I see when you're worried about the game expo in Diablo Four because like it's gonna go great. Like it's it, there's there's no way it doesn't go great. It's gonna be awesome. 
Like it's gonna be good. Game Expo is gonna be good. Diablo Four Launch is gonna go good. Going back on Asmongold is gonna be good. Like I don't like having to travel because I have a really hard time sleeping. Like if it's not, if it was not for that, I actually like LA. I think LA is a nice place. Mm. And I like if I go to New York, go to Florida, I get along no matter what. It's gonna be totally fine. And I never have a problem fitting in with people. It's never an issue. I'm never uncomfortable yeah. while I'm there. But God fucking damn, I can't sleep. Is it and the bed? That, say what? Is it like the bed or like what's the problem? I, I just, I, I wake up early and I can't go to bed. And it's like, cause. It probably is cause it's different. People are noisy. They're so loud. They're so loud. They're always making, they're always slamming doors. There's always cars. There's people talking. Well, here's what you got to do. Okay, first, you get one of those head wraps that plays the sound. You play like ambient noise, like raccoons or whatever the hell is going on in your house. What? And then you take one of those giant suitcases <laughs> that you have to check in. And you put I all your blankets the in there. Suitcase? You put your moldy pillows and blankets in there. Yeah. So then it like smells like home, you know? So it's like, I'm like oh, halfway in the suitcase. No, no, no. You don't okay. sleep in the suitcase. You bring your pillows and blankets in the suitcase, and then you put them on the bed at the hotel. That sounds like a really good way to get uh, caught by Homeland Security for uh, bio fucking nuclear <laughs> Yeah, terrorism. bioengineering. Yeah. No, but it's like, it's like domestic, you know? Like, why domestic would you be terrorism. It's not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Raccoon fighting in dumpster ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is I know what that sounds like. <laughs> That is the strap that I do too. I put yeah. one pillow underneath, one pillow on top, take my phone, mm -hmm. and then I have a podcast just playing the whole time underneath my pillow. Yeah. And dude, I can't think about anything. It's the greatest. But now the problem is um, I cannot go to sleep in pure silence. I cannot. I uh -huh. hate that noise. Pure silence is the fucking worst. I used to only be able to sleep in pure silence. That was awful. Yeah, I imagine it's got to be hard. Yeah. That's now, how I am. Any noise will wake me up, but I, I have like a fan on. And so it just like, it, it's like a loud ambient noise. Oh, yeah. It get, just like get shuts a everything Get out. a head wrap. Yeah. So it's comfortable. And then just play like fan ambient noise 10 hours YouTube. That's there you go. It. Yeah. Maybe I should do that. Yeah. Or put on Games Done Quick, which is happening right now. Okay. The best stream on earth. It's so good you can fall asleep to it. Yep. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, it, sure. it is. It's so comforting. It's like, it's the same shit. Speed running a whole bunch of games yeah. I don't give a fuck about. Although they did run Banjo Kazooie last night, which was sick. But, like, dude, games are quick. I've watched every single one since the beginning. Uh, it sucks because there's less cringe moments that happen now. Yeah, I remember. Remember, wah! Remember that, dude? <laughs> yeah, that's oh old. Oh, my God. I mean, do you know about that? Mm -mm. Okay, I didn't think so. The Waluigi, so, right? Yes. Yeah. So, they kept fucking, the people in the audience kept making Waluigi sounds mm -hmm. randomly. <laughs> and they would go, like, wah! <laughs> and they had to make, like, a oh. statement about it. Like, stop doing it. And then obviously it just kept happening. People are still getting more mad about it. Oh, it was hilarious. It would, no, no, I hated that. Yeah. Because then people would hear it for a little bit and like in real life and then they would do it around me. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. I think the only thing worse than that was the fucking announcers doing the Kirby voice with the fucking Puyo Puyo. Oh my God. Ugh. It was awful, dude. And then there was this speed run of this guy called Chibi and this other guy called Caveman DCJ, I believe. Uh-huh. Did you see that shit? I might recognize it if I hear the drama. There was this dude and it was his birthday, so he just assumed that he could sit next to the runner while he was speed running. Um, uh, the game was called Tomba 2. Uh-huh. And the whole time, this guy was the most uncomfortable dude. And the speedrunner is, like, not even responding, not even reacting to what he said without, yeah. like, sheer disapproval. And after 32 minutes of this, Caveman DCJ just turned to the guy and just said, I would really appreciate it if you would stop talking. <laughs> and then the guy looks like he had his reality shattered. He's, just, yeah, reality check. I do remember that, yes. Yep. Oh, my God. Games Done Quick Cringe was the best. And then I found peak speedrun content, and I found that Simply and Squeaks. God damn, those are two good streamers. I feel like the more grassroots the speedrun stuff is, the better it is. Because you just have like, because once you get into making it like super corporate and professional, nobody ever makes mistakes. Nobody ever gets mad. Yep. Nobody ever like rage quits. Like all of the best moments in Smash and like the fighting game community, it's all like, yeah, of course there's like turnarounds. But like usually it's people getting mad at a tournament. Yep. Or That's, screaming. 
Yeah, or streaming. Yeah, it's always people getting mad or something like that. That's what everybody remembers. Yep. So it's like, I don't understand how like there's a lot of these like brands and these people like, oh, well, we want to make it mainstream. It's like, okay, well then make it entertaining. Yep. <laughs> you know? That's what you got to do. There was a speed run uh, for Jack and Daxter like three, four years ago, uh, run by the streamer Bonesaw. He's yeah. now permanently banned from GDQ. Nice. Uh, because for the whole two hours of this Jack and Daxter speed run, he was just shitting on Owen Wilson <laughs> the whole time. It was so funny. It's like everything he would do is like, wow, dude. Wait, holy fuck, that sounds like Asman. <laughs> holy shit. Wait, what the fuck? What? Uh, Owen Wilson's, wow. That sounds yeah. just like how you do it. That's the right. I know way. people use that all would, the time. Would they actually say you sound like Owen Wilson? Yeah, they've done that many, many times. I've never heard that before. Actually. Oh yes. Oh fuck. Lots and lots of times. Wait. So is that that guy's the guy? That's the guy who got there? the reality check. Yeah, that's his mental being shattered. Yeah, good. That's what he gets. Yeah, and like that, that's what it used to be like, right? Just four fucking nerds. Everybody knows none of them showered for this event. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. There's like no girls there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just mm -hmm. a bunch of fucking dudes <laughs> with like their, uh, you know, Nirvana t-shirts or Twitch t-shirts on. It's like, yeah, we're here to play some video games. Yeah, I'm pretty good at this. I'm like third in the world. The best, <laughs> yeah. dude. Oh, God, I miss those days. Oh, yeah, it was so much better. But crowds are back for GDQ. They were closed really? down for COVID, but now they got real people back. And now, a word from our sponsors. Well, if one episode isn't enough, we got even more now. We started the Steak and Eggs official Patreon. Patreon.com slash Steak and Eggs. We're going to have tons of stuff on there, as well as behind-the-scenes footage, bonus content, as well as questions that we are going to answer from you guys directly. So if you guys want to be a part of that and see what there is to offer, take a look at it at patreon.com slash steak and eggs. Did you see what happened with Elevated? Uh, the losers who got to come back? Yeah, I did. I saw I them. Heard about that. I was there. I was on the show. I, 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 I well, Emmy was going to be on the show. And I was like, okay, fine. I was I was planning on not responding and then making you having to do it twice. And then I put in the group chat, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> I was pleased with like the little frog. <laughs> That's strange. Yeah. So I, I went on there and I did it. And it was like, well, it was the improv stuff. And like, I'm not really an improv type of guy, you know? So I was like, oh man. That was a, is, a great episode. Yeah, I, I'm no, that's the Seer one, right? Yeah, it was this? No, it was the S fan. Yeah, I was on oh, S fan. S fan Seer were on there though. S fan did the green screen one. Yeah, yeah. The the Seer, I think the Seer role play one was the best one yeah, of the I, whole. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Like I was like, damn, this is like a very good episode. Like I, I could not stop watching. I was late for stream that day because I could not stop watching. That makes me really happy. So all of the contestants now, the people that won, because like we had a couple, we had Navius and Miss Skill Shots that got. Uh, redeemed mm -hmm. and all of them including the people that won or didn't dis get disqualified on my or on S fans episode they're all going to Las Vegas yep Same. that's it oh my god so you're going over there yep I have no idea what we're going to do for that episode I yeah? think I will be there on the show but remote so I'll be in Austin but yep. I, I think okay. I'm going to be on the show I'm stoked I think it's going to be great I, once again I have no idea what we're doing but that's how it's been for every single episode and I think every episode's been great I think it's me Seer, extra Emily S. fan, and I think we're doing that in person, I think. And I'm not sure who the two remote guests are. Am I excited to travel to Vegas? Fuck no. Not at all. <laughs> I'm going to miss the Diablo launch, yeah. which pisses me the fuck off. Are you going to go uh, gamble? Gonna gamba? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to stream me doing slots, but it's, I'm probably going to get kicked out. And I'm probably going to get temp banned. There might be some places that let you do that. You probably have to ask first. Wait, do they let people film in those casinos? I don't know. Probably, I don't know. If I tell them I'm going to spend a whole bunch of money. They'll be like, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Like, don't bother nobody. That's what I'm hoping. Just like, if I mind my business and I just slot. I think that the the tables are more interesting than the slots to watch, personally. They definitely are. I yeah. think it's a, the best thing to do. It's like, you have to treat it. You have to treat it like Chuck E. Cheese. Where it's like, you don't just sit there and play in the ball pit all day. Yeah. Right? Sometimes you go and you play the Simpsons, you know, arcade game. Or you play the basketballs. Or you, yeah. you know, go do something else. Or you're going on like the merry-go-round or something. Yeah. So yeah. you 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 got to do different stuff. That's that's the way I think you do a casino stream. And I need to have four escorts. Yeah. 
<laughs> like I've thought about like doing a casino stream and going in there with like twenty thousand dollars. How fast can I lose all this money? Yeah. <laughs> it's a speed run. You have a timer. Dude, how fast yeah. like, can I lose $10,000? That would be a sick fucking stream. Yeah. And oh. like you don't try to lose the money. It's not like you're betting on things intentionally to lose. Yeah. You try to win and it's just like, how long is it going to take? Yeah. Because like I've done like what? Eight, eight poker sponsors so far. Uh-huh. Which are, oh, I'm doing one tonight. Oh, shit. Dude, I love them. They're the best. And like, I've actually, okay, I could be wrong. I think I've gotten pretty good at it. Okay. I know how to play the game, but uh -huh. I don't think I'm on any level of a Las Vegas gambler where yeah, poker should, is their livelihood. You should go to the poker tables. It's way more interesting than the, like, yeah. the online poker. And just get fucking rolled. Yeah. yeah. And do, do roulette. That's so funny. That would be sick. <laughs> That's the one I would do. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, it's very thematic. You know, you've got yeah. like the little thing. Everybody sees it. People are around the table. And it's like you get to see it go on the wrong one. Oh. oh, the blackjack tables are actually really good too. My problem is, what if I like win a lot of money? Be I like, guys, <laughs> yeah. please start, start gambling. Yeah. You can rebuild your life. You will become a billionaire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I've been so good at not gambling, man. I've been so good with it. I stopped pulling in gotcha games. Oh, by the way, I think I'm genuinely, I don't know if, if I... If I don't pull Kafka in 1.2, I think I'm going to lose my fucking mind, Asmund. I don't know how I would mentally handle that. No. Well, you could have it be like at that point, right? I'm sure a new game will be coming out. You could make that be the, that could be the the villain arc where you actually just stop being free to play and you spend $1,000 in the yeah. theater. And then you just like start acting like you're better than all the free to play players and that they're all like poor losers <laughs> and, and everything and just like completely change the content right there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck, how would I redeem myself? How would I come back from the villain arc? Or would I just not do that? Well, you, you start a new game. You make an apology video. You talk about what it was wrong. Yeah. Like you have chat GPT write the script for it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then you go all the way with it. I, I think it's like, uh, again, I think the more that people treat streaming like it's entertainment rather than like it's them, mm -hmm. the better and happier they'll be. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you've got to look at yourself as the content, and that's what really matters. Oh, are you going for top 1,000 in Diablo? Absolutely fucking not. Okay. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, because it's just, it's not entertaining. Like, I'll tell you what top 1,000 is going to be. I know how to get top 1,000 in games. I know how to get top 10 in games. I didn't wow. Mm -hmm. It's doing the exact same thing over and over and over for 15 hours a day until it's done. That's how you do it. And the truth is that type of content isn't entertaining to watch. Yeah. And like my goal is not being a top 1,000 Diablo player. It's being a top 1,000 streamer. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what my goal is. I don't, I don't really give a fuck about, oh, my name is on a statue. Like, by the way, so they have a statue of Lilith and they're going to write everybody's name on the yep. statue. And <laughs> I said they should put the top 10 on Lilith's boobs. <laughs> right the top 10 names like it's a hot tub stream it would be the funniest fucking thing especially the top 10 druids you know because they need all the help they can get yeah yeah well you know what's crazy is right now whenever this episode comes out people will be playing diablo 4 isn't that nuts not me oh yeah fuck i'll be okay man i'll be playing i'll be playing probably I'm not going to go super hard on it. I'm just going to do like maybe 12 hours a day, just chill and just wake up, play the game, go to bed. I'm not going to try to stay up or do a 24 hour stream, 18 hours. Mm. I'm just going to play every day, make content out of it. And then, you know, after that, I'll do something else. I'm not worried about it. It would be just so nice to like sink my teeth into a Diablo game again. Cause I was playing Smite. Uh, Cause I, Honkai Star Rail is fun. For like it's it's just, it's just chatting with buttons, but like I just had a whole game stream with PUBG and Smite, yeah. golf with friends. I was playing with Neaners and Athol. People were telling me you were playing PUBG, dude. Yeah, it was so fucking fun. <laughs> but that was you told me something earlier because I told you about PUBG earlier. Yeah, and you said, yeah, you were fighting bots. <laughs> yeah, because uh, so Tecton's like, right, right, yeah, I never, I'm, I'm still just as good as I used to be. <laughs> 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 and the thing is, like, I, I remember, so I was playing with, like, uh, what was it? It was, like, Miz and, like, uh, S-Fan on s Fan stream, and I soloed an entire squad. Yep. And everybody in the chat was like, Asmon, Giga Chad, holy fuck, he's so good. Wow, Asmon actually is that good? I can't believe it. And I'm like, okay, guys, they're all bots. Yeah. Well, like, that was after I took all the credit for it for, like, 10 minutes. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. But these this, these people. Oh, that these weren't bots, guys. Bro, I'm gonna totally send, different. I'm gonna send you the goddamn they're running clip. back and forth. Oh. I'm a, I, no, dude, dude, we were surrounded by like three squads. It was me yeah. and Ethel. They they cheese Ethel really quick. He gets down, uh, and then I hear where they're from. He pings the building. Instacar 98k yeah. headshot. Then I pull up my gun. Missed like 37 shots, but yeah. he missed two. That's that's a thing that I wish th that could happen in video games again. What? When people have a gun and they fucking miss. Because in every other game, it's like you put the crosshair on the dude and it's going to hit. Like for PUBG, you could have that shit lasered the fuck on him, but it's going to go like somewhere into a different planet. Like, dude, the bullet kick on that game is insane. You're talking about ballistics in the weapons. That. And uh, I actually don't think that PUBG's ballistics are that RNG. I think they're only RNG. Like, you could say maybe the Uzi's ballistics are RNG or something like that. Maybe well, one of these new guns. They're, the, they're really hard to use. They're hard to And that's what makes it good. Yeah. Is it like, and I remember, this is the thing I always use this example, is Dr. Disrespect. I would watch him play PUBG every single day. Same. And I would go around and I would see him and he'd have the car 98 and there'd be a person like over on the other side of the city and he would aim it. The person's here. He's aiming the gun here and every single time he would miss. But one time yeah, he fucking hit it and he posted it on Twitter and he's like, I do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. And I remember everybody watched his stream for like a week after that. They're like, oh, he's going to do it again. He's yep. a god. Dude, what was it? I think it was like, this was his fucking thing. Whenever he was like, boom, bro. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Just makes some PUBG streams with Shroud were fucking peak Twitch. Oh, they were so good, man. PUBG meta and the Hearthstone meta were so fucking good. The Har I, I hated the Hearthstone meta. But why? Because it took people away from WoW. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I was mad. I was jealous. Fun. It's like, wh why are they playing this stupid-ass card game? Magic the Gathering's better anyway. What the hell? <laughs> Is that actually what you would say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so it was. Funny. I was so mad about it. Damn, I loved that game. I never played Hearthstone. Not even once. It's, never played the game. It was so good. Really? Yeah, the original meta. Oh, here we yeah. go. And it's like, so he would make these shots. Look at that. Yeah. And then, you know, it, this is the thing, right? Is he would just like lean back and be like, yeah, it's just another day. Yep. It's just another day. That one was not that big of a deal. Dude. This one's not a big deal. That's oh, whatever. Boom. boom. Yeah, yep. dude. That one's decent. Okay. He's just that good. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would watch Doc every single day. Dude, like, dude, that's dude. what I love in streamers, man. Like the streamers like Doc, where they yeah. have just like these ridiculous fucking personas. I love it, dude. I love yeah. that shit. Because obviously it's an extension of who he is, obviously. Yeah, I, I think that if Dr. Disrespect, you know, Guy Beam becomes Dr. Disrespect after about three beers. Yeah, That's no, what I think basically 100%. happens. Yeah, this game, like, I mean, did you ever play PUBG when it came out? I did, yeah. Oh, my fucking God. It was, like, whenever I think back, this was my favorite time on Twitch is playing PUBG. Yep. Like on the original map, the game fucking sucks. Everybody hates it and people can't stop playing it. Dude, fuck, I'm going to play more tonight. I, I I might go back and play PUBG again Dude, myself. It, yeah. It was a blast. I'm kidding. I'm like, I thought it was going to feel bad uh, with the yeah. 4090s that we have in the yeah, Star Force yeah. PCs now. Actually feels good. Oh, yeah. On, like it feels fucking good. But the gun control is still ridiculously hard. I, they, I think they have too many, too many assault rifles. There's just way too many of them. It's yeah. way, way, way too much. I don't know. Like, I, I'm curious to see. Did y'all see that? Um, uh, Tim, Nick, Merks, Cipher, PK, Courage, and Ninja are making a game. This was like oh, a yeah, month I heard ago. About what? That. No, I haven't heard anything about this. Yeah, it, it's like they're making a BR. I'm assuming. Okay. And I am so excited to play that. And. I don't know. I'm sure since Tim's there, it won't have fall damage, but <laughs> and uh, I am really excited to see what they're going to come up with because right now I feel like the BR scene is kind of, uh, it's kind of played out. Yeah, it is. You know, there's nothing new. Like Warzone 1 was like for its time. Like, I mean, did you play Warzone 1? No, never. Oh my God. It was so good. Like the buyback system, being able to buy items, loadouts, the gulag. Oh my God, it was amazing. And 
ever since then, nothing has happened. So your opinion on Warzone was, uh-huh. a, or yeah, your Warzone opinion is how uh, I I was you for Hearthstone because yeah. like Warzone took people away from PUBG. Uh-huh. That shit pissed me off because like, I didn't want to watch it. I don't think it took people away from PUBG. I think like no, Warzone well, was number it, four. You've got to remember PUBG was number well, PUBG was number two because H one Z one, right? Yeah, and then it was PUBG, and then Fortnite killed PUBG, and then. F- fucking like Apex was like, wait, you're not dead yet. Let's finish yeah. the job. And then Apex is what really killed PUBG because people didn't like Fortnite because it was number one, it was third person. And number two, it was like cartoony graphics. But then yeah. Apex comes out totally so, fucking free. I guess what I meant by that was, was that Doc, with respect, would not play Fortnite. So his streams would still be PUBG. Yeah. But then when Warzone came out, Doc would only stream PUBG or uh, Warzone. Warzone. And yeah. that shit was like, oh my God, bro, don't make me watch this shit. You didn't like Warzone? Uh, no, eventually I did like it when I tried it, Uh huh. but that was like my, it was like my whole morning routine. Yeah. It's like, it, you're, you're used to watching PUBG. Like why, why are you ruining my life? Exactly. Exa- that, that's I'm why making me watch another video game. That's why people hate variety streamers. It's like, yeah. why, why aren't you playing WoW anymore, man? We should play some WoW because people yeah. get used to that rhythm. And that was me for like, I would watch Crip play Hearthstone. I would watch yeah. Doc play PUBG. Like those were like the content that I loved watching every morning. Like, I unironically would just play all the games Kriparian would play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. he's playing well. Like, oh, well, Crip's playing well. I'll play well. He's playing Diablo 3. I'll play Diablo 3. Yep. Oh, this new Path of Exile game? Yeah, I'll try it out. Oh, it's pretty good. I like it. All right, cool. Dude, let's get Crip on the podcast. Man. Oh, that would be amazing. Well, we haven't had a guest in like a couple weeks, of weeks, I think. Which yeah. sucks is like, I have like a ton that would love to come. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm down to have anybody have on. A guest next week. Yeah. yeah. Leave a comment for who you would like on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I, I think that, did you guys see the new Lord of the Rings Gollum game? <laughs> what a fucking joke, dude. It's so bad. I heard about it and I saw uh, Vebe was playing and I was like, oh, You saw sick. the clip? Yep. I'll tune in. Yeah. Uh, it's bad. It's crazy. You it's, like it? No. Oh, okay, I, good. I, I was about to say. It. The thing is, like, it, sometimes I'll wake up late and, like, a game won't be released, like, the, the day before. So I'll wake up and I'll just see that the game is so bad. I'm like, I'm not even going to play it. Yep. I'm not even going to play it. I'm just going to watch a review on the game and talk about it being bad. Yep. That's it. Let's min-max this and we're just going to play something that's more fun. Yeah, the Gollum game. And I wonder, like, what is... Because, you know, obviously, like, the company put out an apology. And I actually did... No a, shot. Oh, yeah. I, I heard about that. No, I didn't hear that. I Yeah, they put out an apology. They said, you know, basically, we're sorry that the game's shit. And... uh I made a video game publisher developer apology tier list because Sick. there's been so many of them. And it was actually really hard to like rank all of them. It's like, you know, you have the Battlefield apology, the Cyberpunk apology, the apology for Wild Hearts on PC, the apology for The Last of Us PC port. You've got the apology for Battlefront. I don't know if I said that one before. Uh, and then now you have the the Gollum apology. You have the Forspoken apology. Are There's you, so many of did them. Did you rate them on how bad they were or how good they were? Everything. I took everything into account. I think the best apology ever was No Man's Sky because they actually meant it. That's what I, yeah, yeah. And then they delivered on it. Yeah. Because No Man's Sky is actually good now. I've heard of that. I've never played that game at all. Yeah, I think it'd actually be a fun game to play with like Seer or something. That'd be... Dude. I wish I had more time to play video games. I feel like I never have enough time to just like go hard on playing every game. Like I could go into like fucking Dragon Ball Z hyperbolic time chamber yep. and just play games for like 40 hours a day and then maybe I'll be able to catch up. I have the same problem that just makes me not get into a lot of games because I'm like, well, I'm never going to catch up. What's your top five games you want to play? Top five games I want to play? Well, I really, I say this all the time because it bugs me so much. I really wish I got to play WoW at its peak. You missed out. Yeah. And then um, top five games. Um, probably just like WoW or any MMOs. I still want to play Bloodborne really bad, but I will get I to can't wait. One. Yeah. Please beat Dark Souls 3. I'm getting there. I'm on free. Well, you, you don't know yet. Yeah. Wait, have you played Souls 3 yet? No. So oh. there's this one. Oh, oh, oh. I've only I've only yeah. fought the first boss and then I'm I stopped trying playing. To, do you care about like I'm not gonna spoil the boss? So there's a there's a boss that's really hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, and she's fighting hard. it. The boss this boss took S Fand two hundred and like seventy tries. What? I'm I, not even kidding. Like and, and I was two hits away from killing the boss one time and I was like, oh my god, so close. And my chat was like Motherfucker, you were fucking one-handing for like the last third of that fight. Yeah. No way. I was yep. so upset. 
Fuck. Maybe how many, how many deaths so far? Forty something. That's it. Oh, on the one boss or on the whole game? The one boss. Oh my god. He's up to three hundred and like fifty or three hundred and seventy on the whole game. Yeah. yeah. I, right? yeah. My yeah. most died to boss on Chimps Millennia. She whooped my fucking ass. Yeah. It took me eight and a half hours. Uh, actually, the only boss That's is crazy. No. Sta- like mental stamina. I would take a break. No. No. There was no mental stamina. I, I was losing my fucking mind. He was. I was watching it. Yep. I was furious. I was banning year-long subs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck him. Yep. Fuck I, him. I was foaming at the mouth. My face was pure red. And when I beat it, I don't even think I got excited. I'm pretty sure I was just like, yeah, fuck you. Like, I'm done. I beat it. I'm going offline. Because I, my dumb ass did this thing because I always do this because I always think like, oh, yeah, I can do it. Like, I can fucking do it. Won't end stream till I beat this boss. Yeah. And I put that shit on my stream title when I was already six hours into a stream. Eventually, you just have to give up. Because I was saying the same nope. thing. I said, oh, there's a party tonight. I'm not going to the party until I beat this boss. After, like, the f- like close to 50 attempts, I was like, guys, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. Did you go to the party? I did. Oh, I thought you were just dying on purpose so you wouldn't have to. Honestly, I was thinking about not going, but I ended yeah. up going. It was the after party for Simply's um his show. Like yeah, that like music thing with like Russell's like on the stage. I saw yeah. that. I had to miss that because Honkai Star Rail delayed their live stream. Ooh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, is that's an earth- earthquake. Yeah, that made me really sad. But obviously, yeah, an earthquake in Japan. I totally get it, but I really wanted to be there for my homie, but like I had to watch the live stream. I just I fucking had to. I mean, I I feel like I feel like you'll probably kill it before two hundred and seventy deaths. I think so too. I, I, think, I, think I feel hopefully, like I don't want to jinx it, but every time I like take a break from a gaming thing that's like really hard to yeah. do, when I come back, it's it's just way easier. It's just like the mental reset, you know, because like you get stuck in these patterns of doing the same mistakes and shit. I uh, I've been fighting this boss. There's this uh, in Jedi Survivor. There's this the frog. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I the frog took me almost an hour to kill him. And to be honest, it was not even really that hard. It was just because, like, running back, you would just keep getting shot by these droids. Annoying. And it would fucking make me mad. And I was getting so mad. And by the time I actually get to the boss, I'm already pissed off. Dude, that's part of why it took me so long to beat Manus, I think. Because I hated that run back so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, would, I would get hit in the back by that fucking conjurer. Then he just the little, was like, hey, when you go, hey, When you go on the bridge? Yeah. Yep, yep. Fuck that, that shit dude. would hit me in the back. I'd fall on my face. And he'd be like, hey, hey, hey. And I'd be like, <laughs> yep. God. Yeah, there it is. My chat's fucking Omega dancing. I'm just like. Oh, yeah. Yep. So how, how many more bosses do you have until you beat the game? She's got. I think three DLC and then no, the final you got, boss. Uh, did you do the Wyvern? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. The, no. the moment you beat it, then I'm allowed to three. start it because okay. I told myself I'm not starting it until you beat it. <laughs> okay. And then and then I'm close. I cannot fucking wait. I've beat. heard the final final boss is like pretty easy compared to the other stuff I've done. Yeah. But after yes. the boss I'm on, there's one more that's pretty difficult and then the rest are like, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm a guy where like, I'm aware that I'm really not good at like a lot of things. Yeah. So like when I am good at something, it makes me really happy. And I th- I think I'm actually pretty good at Souls games. But from my experience with Bloodborne, I think I'm actually, I think I'm pretty good. And so I'm very happy with that. And people are telling me that I'm going to get my fucking ass railed in Dark Souls 3. So eh, I no. want to... No, no. So. Uh, it's I've I went back, yeah, and I played it, and I was like, "This is a joke." Really? Yeah. Most it of, is a most joke. of the bosses like, I didn't think were that difficult. Which is the hardest one, or which is the hardest Souls game? Sekiro. Yeah, by far. Okay, because Gen 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 Nichiro. Nichiro. I still need to go back and fight him. Such a bad fight, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, you gotta understand. I was pissed off when I yeah, said I, all that. I know. Stuff. I saw why. <laughs> Yeah, that one was really rough. I don't think you'll have that bad of a time with Souls 3. Maybe on like two bosses, but besides that, nah. You got, you yeah. got four left, I think. Yeah, four total. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I, I'll be excited to see how you do on Elden Ring, too. Because Elden Ring has like probably the biggest disparity of bosses. It has some bosses that are just a complete fucking joke. And yeah. other ones that are like Melania that are just like absolutely brutal. I, I think Emmy's experience is she's going to completely obliterate that game. You will be stuck on Millennia for probably a week or two on you stream. You think so? Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that much harder than... Okay, what's like something... So like Manus, how, like how many times harder? Than oh, so Manus much. It's harder? fucking... It's the, uh, Manus so the comparable. first boss in in Elden Ring, I would say is two or three X harder than Manus. Really? What? Yeah. 
But the difference is that at Manus, you can't you can't really out level Manus, but you can out level Margit, who's the first boss. Oh. Which is why I think you should do what I did, which is don't grind, like at all. I think you should only kill bosses. I don't. I just don't really have any care to grind in Souls games. Like, yeah, it's. I don't think it's good content either. Yeah, it's not even that. Like, I just don't. Like, I feel like it's just not as satisfying. Yeah, no, I I think you shouldn't over level it. I don't think you should go over level one hundred. And then just play the game. I think you'll really enjoy it. I think it will be like one of your favorite games of all time. Uh, okay. I, I actually cannot wait to watch you play that shit. That's going to be sick as fuck. Oh, uh, also, so. can I read a review real quick? Yeah, let's see a review. Yep. In case you guys don't know, we also post these on Apple Podcasts. Ooh. We, we appreciate the hell out of the support over there. Uh, as well as one of y'all who commented uh, by the title of Asmon Goose. Oh, he, good one. Yep. New staple and weekly pod routine. Five stars. Really great vibe y'all are cultivating with this thing. Surprisingly entertaining podcast that extends beyond the streaming sphere to encompass fun anecdotal stories, life lessons, and general non sequitous banter. Now we just need an Asmin blind vegetable taste test. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It has been a while since we've done a, a group stream. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. I I really think we need to do the uh, the the sugar and sugar free versions of sodas to see if Asmin can really taste. Oh, that's a good idea. Out. I know, uh, because I'll be real. The new I think he can. Nope, not the new Pepsi Max. Really? The Pepsi Max has a new flavor. Holy shit! Okay, it is, it is incredible. Okay, you and see. if we do ever do that, I will give you. Oh wait, I can't get you subs because you're on Zach Rowe. You don't have subs. Well, I'll be on Asmongold. Asmongold. Yeah. 200 subs if you get them all right. Okay. That easy. It's that easy. <laughs> yep. uh, absolutely. But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching today. And uh, also thank you to everybody who supported us on Patreon and all of that stuff. We really do appreciate it. And uh, again, we are on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify if you want to listen to us on there. So thank you all so much. We also have these little keychains that you can get on Patreon as well. Two, two or three subs. Metal. Yep, there you go. And so uh, anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I know I've one million percent picked up trades from my family. Do you have anything like that? I mean, were you picked up some from your mom or dad? Not really from my parents, but I was never like super close out of my parents. But from my siblings, yeah, for sure. Like what? What's a, what's like a subconscious habit? Subconscious habit, or like something that you say that's from them. Um, me and my siblings all call animals rats. Like dogs. <laughs> that's rats. so cute. Rats. Yeah. Yeah. I got a trade from you where I call uh, my cats chickens. Oh, that, yeah, that, me and my siblings also do that. Yeah. yeah. rats and chickens. Yeah, I take the little kibble, I'll throw it on the ground, and go, here to go, yeah, chickens. That's something that we would do when we were kids that I just yeah. do. That's so cute. The same degenerate, gross shit that I do, my dad does other similar things like that. Yeah. And so some of that stuff I've learned from him, but not all of it. Some of it I've invented myself. You're, you're an only child, right? Yeah. How is that? Do you ever, do you ever was, wish you had a brother? Yeah, it was really sad. I, I wish I had siblings. Yeah, definitely.